Hey everybody, my name is Ryan and today in this video I'll be doing a review of Call of Duty Ghosts. Now today I'll be talking about campaign, extinction mode, and multiplayer. Now the game overall is somewhat fun, and I say somewhat because it's also very very frustrating at the same time if you guys are not very competitive or you guys are just a casual player of any, you know, any video game. So I'm first going to talk about campaign. Now, if you guys have not played campaign yet, then you guys, I'm going to kind of spoil this a little bit for you. Um, the main characters are Logan and Hesh. Those are the two brothers. And then their dad, El Elias, or Alias. Um, he's like the ghost commander, basically. And uh, the way they go about the story mode of, you know, taking down Rourke, who is the main uh, antagonist in the campaign, is, you know, pretty good. Um, I did have a lot of enjoyment from the campaign. It was kind of strung out and long. But a couple things I did not enjoy were, first of all, being in space. I don't understand why we would, like, we would go to space and have guns and you'd be killing other people in space. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And there was two missions like that. It was I thought it was really stupid and a waste of time. But um, overall, the you know campaign was pretty fun. If you guys don't really play campaign or it's not your thing, I don't blame you. Um, you know, it's always kind of the same thing. And I noticed that with there's a couple uh, cutscenes in the game that are very very long and drug out, and you wish you could skip them, but you can't. And also, there's a lot of stuff that reminds me a lot of Marvel for Two. It's basically copy and pasted. Um, and Play the Game Central uploaded a video on this, and you guys can go watch that if you guys want to on their channel. Um, but it's you know, I think Infinity Ward was on the right track of starting a new story. Um, and the camp, the ending, if you guys have seen that, um, you know, it's, it does lead on for another possible game, but the way, um, you know, how they kind of copy it and they don't really start anything fresh, um, th that's really something that really kind of kills campaign. So overall, basically, the campaign was pretty good. Uh, they could have really improved a lot of things, but they didn't. Um, and, you know, we'll just have to go along with that because they can't fix anything now. The next thing is, is Extinction Mode. Now, I'm not really a big fan of Extinction Mode. Um, I really do like it as compared to um, Survival Mode in Modern Warfare 3. But in terms of, like, comparing it to Zombies, I think it absolutely sucks. Now, the reason I say this is because, first of all, you, uh, you basically start out and you get a drill and you just have to... Um, you know, drill all of them to move on and like destroy the barrier hives. You know, you destroy all the little hives, then get to the barrier hive and then move on. Um, in zombies, you're basically you start and you can pick your own fate. You guys can you know go to the bank, you know, pick different ways to go, but ultimately you guys will all die and you know there's no really objective. It's just kind of you know pick your fate and stay alive, live as long as you can. Now in extinction mode, you have to have, to have an objective, and I really don't like that. I would just rather you know kind of have fun like in zombies and that's what made zombies fun was you know the storyline was pretty cool and also there is no storyline in extinction mode which is kind of crap um, but the storyline in zombies and also um, you know just you know choosing your own fate and being the master of your own destiny um, in that game I thought that was really really cool just you know they don't really tell you what to do they just give you the stuff to do it like the bank uh, guns off the wall and you guys kind of have to you know use your skill to stay alive so, for my rating for an Infinity Ward game, Extinction Mode is pretty good, but as compared to Zombies, I think it sucks. Now, on to Multiplayer. Now, Multiplayer is decent at best, and I'm going to say decent as, you know, lack of a better word. Um, I absolutely hate Multiplayer. For one, the spawns in this game are complete shit. I don't know why, you know, we go from, like, Marvel for 2, Marvel for 3, where the games are, you know, somewhat good in the spawns and the balancing of weapons, and then whenever a new game is built, it's always either hacked or it just sucks. Like, this game, before the game was even released, there were people doing XP lobby. Like, come on, Infinity War, get your shit together. Um, but overall, I think it's just bad because either we don't even, like, we don't have enough health, like, it's on middle school health all the time, or the guns are just that overpowered. I mean, I get in so many, you know, gunfights, and you guys can probably vouch for this as well, and you guys get shot three times and you're dead. I don't need, know either if the guns are just that overpowered and they just do that much damage, or if they just have given us no health, basically, like, it's hardcore all the time. Now, the next thing is basically kill streaks. Um, I'm not really a fan of like the Maniac and, um, you know, just a lot of the higher kill streaks. Um, the Maniac is fun to use, but I just think, you know, giving someone a juggernaut suit uh, and that can run faster than normal people, you know, with a knife is, you know, not the best thing to do. At least, you know, when there was a juggernaut in Marvel for 3, he was pretty slow, but he did have guns. But still, you guys could kind of flank around him. But this Maniac, I mean, he runs a lot faster than you do. And, you know, he has juggernaut armor. So unless you guys have, like, four people shooting at him at one time, or he's already very injured, there's a high chance you guys are going to die. Um, another thing, like I said, was spawns. Those need fixed, you know, really, really bad. Um, I'm almost kind of tired of playing this game just because the spawns are so shitty. Um, and what else I really don't like is that they kind of took away a lot of the fun game modes like Search and Destroy, Hardpoint from Black Ops 2 and other games. I know Hardpoint was a new one, but it was very, very fun. And also like with the competitive, I know a lot of people do competitive, and I actually have a couple subscribers in my party right now that are talking about, you know, why would they kill competitive like this, you know, building up a game uh, to be competitive like Black Ops 2 and Marvel 3 and then just getting rid of everything like theater, um, you know, for all the good games if you guys want to 
to record that for like your channel. Um, but also getting rid of the games like Hardpoint, um, you know, this all those games, Capture the Flag, Search and Destroy uh, for competitive. I think it's crap that they kind of got rid of all that stuff. And they cut theater mode just because of lag. But, you know, we should have dedicated servers anyway for the Xbox, but we don't. Um, but, you know, that's another topic. But anyway, guys, I hope this video has kind of informed you a little bit on my, uh, you know, my opinions on this game. If you guys are not going to get it or you guys have not gotten it yet, I would recommend getting it. And just, you know, once they patch everything, I think it'll be better. But for right now, it's not worth buying until they patch everything. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please make sure to give it a like rating and subscribe if you guys are new. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Ryan. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.